Hey Word Nerds, Kate here. Today's words are all about idioms. Idioms are phrases or expressions that rely on a secondary figurative meaning. If I say it's raining cats and dogs, I don't actually mean that there are animals falling from the sky. What I love about idioms are the context and the history behind them. I love learning why a phrase came to be, especially the ones that have been around for a long time and may use language that has fallen out of fashion. That's specifically why I had this video in mind. I came across the history of an idiom completely by accident. I am someone who loves to learn, and I have a fairly broad range of interests. A few years ago, my sister sent me a video essay about organs and the history behind them being the standard creepy music instrument. It was fascinating. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. But I learned something unexpected from the video that was language related. You see, organs are made of an incredible number of parts. My brother-in-law restored slash created his own small organ as a part of his dissertation, and the amount of work and parts that went into what I think is one of the smallest types of organs was truly astounding. Your standard organ has three stacked keyboards, an additional keyboard that's played with your feet, separate foot pedals, and panels of buttons, not to mention the pipes and the bellows. And my deepest apologies to my brother-in-law for what is likely a gross oversimplification of how organs work. Each part controls a different aspect of how the sound is produced, whether that's the pitch or the volume or other effects that I'm just not familiar with. All this to say, organs are terribly complicated. Do you remember those buttons I mentioned? They're actually called stops. And rather than just pushing them, they slide out and back in. Do you see where I'm going with this? Stops affect several things, including volume. So when organists want to make an impression and get as loud as they can, they pull out all the stops. And that's where we get the phrase, which means making every possible effort to achieve something. That's it for today, but if you'd like to see me get into the history of other idioms, let me know and drop your favorite idiom in the comments. If you're interested in more of my words, you can check out my website, kategjameson.com, or follow me on social media at kategjameson, and you will see me next time.